with the arrival of Black Cat, the arena meta has been shaken up, and I think it's going to continue to shake here for a couple of weeks. And uh, wow, I am feeling much better. I, I hope that I'm coming through better. I know the last time I shot a video in the morning, people were telling me, Mr. Horkgrave, you sound horrible. Something's wrong with you. And I'm like, you know what? You're kind of right. <laughs> And I've been running two channels recently, so I run this channel plus a second channel, plus I do Twitch streams three times a week usually, plus I have a full-time job and a family. You might have noticed these little bottles hanging around. Let me go ahead and uh, zoom this out. No, that's not the shot I wanted. Yeah, that one will work. Um, so yeah, you might have noticed these little bottles sitting over here. Um, I've actually been taking this. This is Magic Mind. And I think it's really been helping me out. I feel much less tired and I feel more clear of mind. And um, yeah, I'm drinking one right now. I, it's, it's become part of my morning routine. I just drink one of these every morning. And uh, it's, it's really been helping out with, with running both channels. I stay up really late now. And... I replaced my normal caffeine with this. Um, I, I normally would get up in the morning and I would drink like an iced tea, pretty heavy caffeinated iced tea. And that would be good, except that the problem is, all right, so this stuff works. I just, I'm, I'm going on a sidetrack here, but I want to tell you about this because it actually has been helping me out. Um, it has L-theanine uh, in it, right? I did some research on this and what that is, is it's like nature's time release caffeine. It's the same as what you find like in matcha tea and it helps increase focus and attention. And here's the thing. Here's a little science lesson. My wife's a scientist, so this stuff rubs off on me, right? Caffeine doesn't actually give you energy. It blocks neuroreceptors in your brain and the neuroreceptors tell you that you're tired, right? So it blocks those. Now with caffeine, those are going to unblock in about one to three hours after you take it. And that's what causes that caffeine crash, right? So the L-theanine in matcha and in Magic Mind, it prevents the full blocking off of the receptors, giving you sustainable energy without a crash. And that's what I've been experiencing. So I've been taking this and I don't get that, that caffeine crash. And that's nice. Don't worry. I'm going to get over to the Marvel Strike Force stuff, but I just wanted to tell you about this because so many people were commenting like on how bad I sounded and looked. And I don't know, you got to let me know, do I look better? I feel better. And uh, if you want to, if you want to experience this for yourself as well, I'd, ex I'd suggest giving this a shot. See what I did there. It's a shot. I'm it tastes pretty good. I, I just drink it straight. Uh, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. You can put it in milk. You can make like a matcha latte with it. And that's a, probably a cool idea. But I'm just, I like the ease of it. I like how easy it is. You just take it out of the fridge. It's a little shot that helps you focus. A little 20 ounce drink, uh, two ounce drink uh, that makes you stop procrastinating. I feel like it kind of helps me get stuff done. I, I, I have been getting a lot of stuff done. So that's cool. I've been getting videos on both channels. Um, if you don't like it, they refund it up to 100% and they've been so kind as to give me a, a link and a code down below in the description. You can use the link down there, magicmind.com forward slash Mr. Heartgrave and my code Heartgrave20 and you can get up to 56% off um, your first subscription for the next 10 days. So definitely if you want to feel more awake if you want to feel more focused i would definitely give magic mind a shot it has really been helping me out um yeah all right let's get over to these attacks let's go ahead and show you this new meta that's going on right now and i didn't see this coming guys this is a new one to me um and maybe i would help figure this out from uh, from the clarity of mind that i have now but <laughs> spider-man big time Big time Spider-Man is actually meta. What? What? What is happening? Now, here's the cool thing about this. So the team I've been using to beat the new meta that I've been seeing in my arena is big time Spider-Man, Miss Marvel, Apocalypse, fully empowered Apocalypse, Kang, and Black Cat. So, you know, mileage may vary, but the main thing I wanted to show you in this video, and I'm going to do an attack too, but I can't guarantee you it's going to work. But what I wanted to show you is even a small, tiny 
big time Spider-Man is meta. You don't need to pump a lot of resources into this Spider-Man for him to do what he needs to do. This is what I, I, I took him up slowly. And this was the spot where I thought he, th where I saw him work, where I saw him do what he needs to do. All right. So here's what big time Spider-Man needs to do. He needs to go first. So to go first, you need to get level four on his passive. And there on spawn, he gains speed up. If you don't have his level four passive, he will not get that speed up. He will not work. And then all the only other thing he needs is his focus. So I found that his focus was high enough at tier 12 to be able to land the disrupt off of his ultimate. So the first thing he's going to do, he's going to ultimate and you're going to aim at Miss Marvel and aim for this disruptive for two turns. Now, the cool thing about his ultimate is it does get an extra thousand percent extra focus. But until I got him up to tier 12, he was just not landing that disrupt. So you got to take him up to tier 12 and let me go ahead and show you how it works now. Like I said, I might not win, but I'm going to go against this uh, pretty big team. 1.4 million. You can see it's very built out. It's very dangerous. I don't really have other teams that can beat this. If this is a better look at it. So there he is. And let me go ahead and give him a shot today. I think I need a bigger black cat for this to work. Um, but we'll see and, and more experience with it. But I just wanted to get the news out about big time Spider-Man that... And once again, kind of verifying what I was saying earlier about Photon not really being a part of this team. Um, and I think that as soon as I get uh, Ghost Rider, you're going to replace Kang with Ghost Rider or even Apocalypse with Ghost Rider. But there's no place where you're going to put in Doctor Strange. There's no place where you're going to put in Photon. Um, they're just not valuable enough on the team. But the core three, Miss Marvel, Black Cat... Ghost Rider, I want you to know that as well. All right, let's go ahead and get in here and let me show you this uh, big time Spider-Man, hopefully landing that Disrupt because that shuts everything down. Once you get Disrupt on Miss Marvel Hard Light, then you're good to go. And I'll, I'm going to make some follow-up videos about this as well. I'm probably going to have a video on this channel on Monday called Addicted to Marvel Strike Force where I can kind of show you more of this once I get this really well figured out. But this is like my third time doing this. But here it is. Big time Spider-Man goes first. And then he needs to land this disrupt on Miss Marvel. And then that just shuts her down. That just does it. Now, now when she goes, she won't drop all the buffs on herself. And then you have better control over what you want to do. So you can reduce speed bar over here on Apocalypse with your own Miss Marvel. And then Black Cat can do whatever she wants. Uh, she can drop a stun, trauma, and stun. And I'm going to do that on Miss Marvel. Because your primary target's Miss Marvel, and then you go to Apocalypse. At least that's how it's been explained to me. Or how we figured out. Me and my... <coughs> oh, boy. I had a sneeze. Uh, me and my Arena Shard, we work together on this stuff. So we usually pull our results and kind of put our heads together. So big shout out to my Arena Shard for helping me figure this out. And then, yeah, my Apocalypse is going before their Apocalypse. So I should be able to hopefully just kill their Apocalypse. And then that's going to put me in a good spot. So here we go. Yep, their Apocalypse is dead. And now I'm in a really good place. Um, I'm going to come through here with Kang. I was tempted to hit Miss Marvel with Kang. But man, it was so good to get all three of them in that. That I think that was the right move. My Miss Marvel has gone down, so my Miss Marvel definitely needs some size. I'm I'm too tempted by the full kill over here with Apocalypse. It looks like I'm going to get this win, so that's great for the video. I don't look like an idiot, and that Miss Marvel is still stunned out over there. Let's see about this. This is I am not going to be able to clear anything, but I'm going to gain safeguard, and we're going to fill speed bar with this, so I think I've got to do it. I'm actually going to go for the Black Cat because she has Vulnerable, so I'm going to hit twice because my Black Cat is a striker. Uh, which is going to bring her very close to death. We're going to do the ultimate with Kang, which is still not going to kill that black cat. All those stacks of death proof on there are really getting in my way. Um, I am going to keep going after this black cat because once she's dead, it's going to make my life a lot easier. All right, she's out of there, and now I just have a Miss Marvel to take out. And yeah, this is where I was saying like a bigger black cat for me is going to help because it kind of, every time I've done this attack, it's always come down to Apocalypse and Black Cat. And that's just kind of how it ends with my Apocalypse and my Black Cat versus one of their characters. In this case, Miss Marvel, which will hopefully not be a problem. I'm going to put this on auto at this point 
so I don't time out because, man, these Miss Marvels are brutal. But if it takes until Apocalypse gets his ultimate, it might just have to take until Apocalypse gets his ultimate. Yeah, here comes Apocalypse's ultimate. And then here comes his empowered basic. And then that's the fight. So, yeah, really weird meta. I did not see big time Spider-Man kind of uh, coming into the meta like that. That was really unique. And I just wanted to share that with you and the information about Magic Mind because, uh, yeah, this stuff has really been helping me out. And if you want to check it out as well, my discount code is uh, down there in the description below. That's Heartgrave20 along with the link help save some money, help clear up your mind, help bring you some focus. If you normally have some caffeine in the morning, like what most Americans, um, this might be a better solution for you. If you find yourself crashing, you know, a few hours after taking it and having to, um, you know, go out for a quick coffee run, which, you know, my whole day was becoming coffee runs and that really limits my productivity. This fast one shot of energy and then I'm good to go. Let me know down in the comments below. Do I sound better today? Do I sound less horrible? Guys, Guys, I also think you guys are being a little dramatic. But uh, yeah, I did feel pretty bad though. And I do feel better now. So hopefully that's coming through. And a lot of other great videos on this channel. So make sure you check them out. And Grave Diggers, keep digging.